actually pressurize you got nitrogen in there? Yeah, I can uh, show you a little bit how it, this thing works. Because when you drive up the mountain or you go to a plane, you notice know, your ears pop, and it's a uh, hyperbaric. The pressure changes. In fact, before this, there was a pressure chamber where you like shut myself in and suck the air out. It was like a vacuum chamber. That's actually, I took it one into the '96 Olympics with me, and that's really where I started thinking about the tent. How we needed something more uh, pleasant to use. The, the, it is billowing out here, but in fact, there's no pressure. Um, we can undo the zipper and it's, it's only very slight pressure so you can walk in and out if this was an altitude um, sorry a, a hyperbaric chamber we wouldn't be able to do this we'd have to repressurize it this, this is a hypoxic system and um, what we've done here is actually change the, the composition of the air inside so you can make altitude either by reducing the pressure or by reducing the content of the air that is oxygen. And at the moment, right now, we're breathing 21% oxygen. Inside the tent here, on this oxygen monitor, it's 16.1%. So the air unit, which you can hear chugging away back there, you probably can't hear chugging away because they're now so quiet. That's taking in regular room air, and it's physically separating out some of the oxygen molecules, and then it's taking what's left, the oxygen depleted air, and is pumping it into the tent. And so this tent will get down to about 13 or 14 percent. And that's uh, the thing that is the same in the hypoxic tent and up a mountain is there's the same number of oxygen molecules per cubic meter. And it's about 30 percent less than we would have here at sea level.